In this video, I'll show you how to import and work with audio files that have embedded tempo information. Here's an empty DP session file with the sequence timeline set to 120 beats per minute. I've got the DP click enabled and we hear the metronome when I press play. Now I'll drag in an Apple loop. Notice that the loop boundaries line up exactly with the bar lines in the DP timeline. Like many commercially available audio loop files, Apple loops have embedded tempo information. DP shows the tempo information embedded in the original loop here in the sound file information window and also here in the waveform editor. Here's the loop in the sound bytes window. If I change the sequence tempo, DP references the embedded tempo information in the loop and creates new audio that conforms to the new sequence tempo. Now in the Sound Bytes window, you see the new audio created to match the new sequence tempo. I'll drag in another loop, and that will auto-conform to the current sequence tempo. I'll option drag the first loop to make a copy, and I'll play the new sequence. I'll change the sequence tempo again, and you can see all the sound bites update to the new tempo. Automatic conforming of embedded tempo audio is a selectable option in the DP preferences. I'll turn that option off, and now when I change the sequence tempo, you'll see that the sound bites no longer auto-conform and the sound bites are now out of sync with the DP sequence and click. If the auto-conform preference is disabled, I can still manually command DP to conform the audio. I can select the audio and choose Adjust Sound Bites to Sequence Tempo from the Audio menu. DP conforms the audio to the current sequence tempo. OK, I'll delete those sound bites and show the next example. What if I want to work the other way around and want DP's timeline to match the tempo of the imported audio? For example, I'll drop in a loop, and when I play it back with the DP click, you can hear that the sequence tempo doesn't match the loop tempo. What if I want DP to match the loop's tempo? Now I can choose Adjust Sequence to Sound Bite Tempo. DP puts up a dialog box asking to switch to conductor track mode, which allows DP to follow tempo changes in the sequence. I'll make the switch, and DP's sequence tempo now conforms to the sound bite tempo. So you can see that it's very easy to work with tempo embedded audio in DP. Audio can be conformed to sequence tempo, sequence tempo can be conformed to audio. Stay tuned for the next video in this series where I'll discuss how to work with audio that does not have embedded tempo information.